Welcome back to the Toddy Corba Show. I'm Sam Murray, joined with Stevenson Women's Soccer Head Coach Toddy Corba, and hopefully a happy coach. 2-0 and last week, take down eighth-ranked Johns Hopkins in overtime. Let's start there. What were the emotions going on on the bench watching that game? Uh, you know, a ton of emotion, great emotion. Um, really took everybody there to, to pull that one out. And, um, you know, I, we just, uh, really showed up on the, on, you know, really on the front foot. And, um, I think, you know, really did well applying pressure to Hopkins and, um, just from the start felt like, you know, we're really, we're in this game. Um, you know, ton of credit to the team for going up one nothing, and then the tie, and then going up two one, and then a tie, and then you know to come back in overtime really showed a lot. Of, you know, a lot of character, which um, you know we've found throughout this entire season. But um, you know, it was a great win. It was a great um, effort. It was an exciting game. Um, you know, always a good thing when you can beat a team like that. Um, but, you know, at the same time, it wasn't a conference game. So, um, you know, it only kind of gets you so far, but certainly gave us a lot of confidence in knowing that, you know, we can play with and, and beat, you know, one of the best teams in the country. Well, it's definitely a confidence booster playing the eighth-ranked teams. Also the first time in program history that you uh, that Stevenson has beaten Johns Hopkins. I know your graduate assistant, Ali Andrzejak, she had never beaten Johns mm-hmm. Hopkins in her career, so probably an exciting moment for her. But those goals, they were all very exciting. Brittany Solano bends one in off the corner kick. That's the mm-hmm. second time she's done that in her mm-hmm. career. Raven Isaac gets her first career goal. And then Marissa Inglisa's like Miss Overtime. Mm-hmm. Uh, mm-hmm. It's her third game winner. So talk about all the different contribution that you're getting all around from top to bottom. Mm-hmm. You know, a, a great corner from, from Britt. Um, and then uh, really, you know, Raven, a great job following up that play. But, you know, really that was a tremendous effort from Kellen Whitman. Um, received the ball at midfield and um, just took on, you know, two, three, four players and, and got a shot off. And, again, credit to Raven for, for following it up. Um, you know, goalkeeper kind of mishandled it and um, Raven was there to poke it in. And then, yeah, I mean, Marissa just um, – She's, you know, such a committed player and she works so hard and, you know, and she's always out taking additional shots, um, you know, out on the turf by herself and, you know, working to improve her game. And she'd actually worked quite a bit that week on um, finding that far post goal. And um, obviously we're, we're glad she'd been, you know, she'd been working on that finish. But, you know, just a really honestly a brilliant first touch um, from her, a great ball from Alex Hamill, you know, sending that in. Um, so, again, I, I mean, getting – you know, having people step up in, in big situations, you know, all the way from freshmen to seniors. One last thing from that game in net, Tiffany McKee broke the school's career save record with her 267. She got that in overtime. What has she meant to you in this program? I, I mean, you know, I was so fortunate to inherit, you know, Tiff as, as a goalkeeper. And, um, you know, I think our goalkeeper coach, Adam Lewis, has done uh, an amazing job with her. You know, she's an outstanding goalkeeper, and I think he's really helped um, her get even better this season and and really, you know, reach and exceed her potential. But, you know, she's outstanding, and and we would not, you know, be 7-3 and without her. Um, She's saved us more times than I think any of us can count. Um, And she's just – she's a great leader. She works so hard. you know, and, and she's really just been tremendous in goal for us this year. So you then you came home after that six-game road trip. You hosted Albright in the conference opener for you. Maybe not the best game um, on the field, but you came away with a 2-1 victory. Kellen Whitman gets a Kellen Whitman-type goal. Mm-hmm. Also, a year to the day that she tore her ACL. Mm-hmm. Um, so pretty exciting for her. And then Emily Lord also scores for the first time. You know, talk about, while it may not be the prettiest performance, you kind of gritted one out there for mm-hmm. the win. And, and I think that's what we need to do in conference. Um, you know, I think on paper you can take the worst team in a conference and have them play the best team in a conference, and it still should be a battle. So, you know, that's just the additional element that I think conference brings. And, um, you know, we knew coming off of the Hopkins win with the emotion and um, the amount that went into that game that, you know, Albright, though it was a conference game and more important than Hopkins, we knew it was going to be difficult, I think, to bring that same energy and, um, you know, same intensity. And it was not our best effort. Um, but, you know, again, like you said, I think grinding it out is something that you sometimes just have to do in conference. And, yeah, Emily Lord stepped up and, and finished a nice goal. And then, you know, like you said, a classic kind of Kellen goal. Um, 
and you know and I think we kind of did what we had to do it was not pretty it's not how we want to play um I, you know it wasn't um the same reaction after that game that it, <laughs> that it was after the Hopkins game but um again I, I think just you know getting the win in conference and and knowing that it just is going to take that character and grinding it out to get it done so moving forward you guys have pretty much a week off don't play again until Friday night. So we'll thank uh, Graham for this scheduling here. You play Kenyon in a non-conference game at home Friday night and then turn around and play a conference game against Widener, who has a pretty decent record thus far. Mm. What are you going to tell your team or what do you go into a non-conference game with a conference game right behind it? How do you treat that type of game? Well, it's something that we're we're still managing a little bit right now, you know, on, on a Monday trying to figure out exactly what we're going to do. But, um, you know, we're fortunate in that we do have 41 people, and I think it's going to take, you know, all of us in training. Um, we have a lot of depth. Um, certainly Kenyon is not a game that we want to give away. Um, obviously, we'd like to win them both. But, um, you know, more weight is going to go towards Widener. So um, we're still managing exactly what we're going to do and, and kind of how we're going to sort this out. But I think, um, you know, we're fortunate in that, you know, I think we have the numbers and I think we have the talent in order to get people a lot of time and make sure we're resting some legs and, and still trying to come out on top, you know, both games and, and still looking for, again, that consistency in players to figure out, um, you know, how we're going to go about handling this weekend. Well, luckily, they're both at home, so we're excited to see you uh, on a little home home stretch here mm-hmm. instead of on the road. She's Toddy Corba. I'm Sam Murray, and you've been watching the Toddy Corba Show.